Hello and welcome back. Today's video, I will be ranking my blush collection. I have done this video before, it was about eight or nine months ago, but recently I've decided to redo some of my ranking videos. So recently I did do ranking my highlighters and I have a whole ranking makeup playlist. You can check that out. I will link it in the description box. I'm only going to be including powder blushes. I have a few cream blushes. I've decided not to include those because I use those differently. And then I do have like a blush face palette, but I have some other individual blushes that are in face palettes with other things. And I decided not to include those or depotted blushes. So I have 17 blushes here and I did recently do a declutter, so I got rid of a few. I'll link my declutter if you did not see that as well in the description box. Let's get into it. Alrighty, last place, number 17. I am so surprised I am ranking this low. The Marc Jacobs blush. This is Flesh and Fantasy. And I used to love this and it used to be a favorite. I just don't reach for it very often, which is sad because this was so expensive. I think these are $42. It's just pretty subtle. And there was a time where subtle blush was my thing. And now I prefer a much more intense blush. I will say though, this formula is beautiful. It blends itself and this is a beautiful product. I do like it, but the color right there, it's pretty subtle and yeah, it's great though. I mean, when you have a bold look, it's great to have a blush that is less intense, but I just rarely reach for that. You know, it is a beautiful kind of peachy color, but yeah, sadly I don't use this one very much anymore. And 16 is one that I love the MAC blush formula, but this color is such a bright hot pink. Again, I just don't reach for this a lot. I like everything here. I'll just go ahead and say that. I just reach for some blushes more than others. This is from the Mariah Carey collection. This is You've Got Me Feeling, and it is a pretty hot pink. And I will say, okay, blush does not swatch well. I'm trying to swatch these, but this shows up on the face so much brighter than it does here. It's pretty intense. It is a beautiful color though. I do like it, but I'm not often in the mood for a hot pink blush. I'm more of like a peachy, neutral, orangey type blush person. I do like that, but again, don't reach for that as often. Here's another one I don't reach for very much, which is really sad because the last time that I did this video, you guys were telling me how wonderful it is and that I should be using it. This is Urban Decay Bittersweet, and this is quite purple, but it's gorgeous. And I've been thinking lately, maybe I should even try it as an eyeshadow. You can wear it more subtle as well, like in this swatch. This is beautiful. I really need to reach for this more. It's a really nice formula. I really like this Afterglow formula. I have one of the Afterglow highlighters as well, which I love. You know, so this is shame on me that I'm not using this because it is very, very pretty. All right, on to number 14. That is this Burt's Bees blush. This is Toasted Cinnamon. This is a really hyped up one. And I gotta say, I do like it. I have used this a fair amount. It is a very orangey yellow color. There it is right there. A lot of people could even use this as a bronzer. You know, I think for me, it's a bit too orange, but I like this for very warm looks. And this is a very pigmented formula, very, very intense. I will say this one I just don't use as often because I feel like it needs to be paired with a warm eye look. Like today, I think it wouldn't really match with like the reds and the purples that I'm doing. I know, I am probably overthinking it, just like with that Urban Decay blush. You know, I just need to use this. I really do like this color and I love very warm blushes, but this is almost like too warm for a lot of my looks. Alrighty, number 13 is another MAC blush. This is discontinued. This is so old. This is a 10 year old product, I think. This is called Prim and Proper. This one is a satin and this is a mauve nude. And I actually do like this a lot. I've had it for a really, really long time. Like I said, you know, I just don't reach for it as much because of that, but I still do wear it and I like it. And it's actually performing very well, even though it's one of the oldest products in my collection. There it is right there. And I do like these mauve type colors. I probably should use this more because I do still really enjoy it. All right, number 12 is this right here. This is a blush palette from Tarte. This was a limited edition one two or three years ago, one of their holiday sets. 
And I actually do enjoy this quite a bit. You get kind of warmer peachy shades and then two more pinky type colors. This is beautiful. The formula is great. I know some people don't like this Tarte formula versus their permanent formula. I will say I actually prefer their holiday formula because it's softer. Their permanent ones, um, such as Tarte Exposed, that one I do actually have depotted, so I decided not to include it. I like that one, but it is so hard panned, it's actually very difficult to use. Whereas this is a softer formula and I think it works better. So I know some people kind of don't like the Tarte blushes that come in these holiday sets, but this one I think is great. I think I don't reach for this that much though because it's a palette. I do tend to reach for my individual blushes more. All right, then we have this one by Milani. This is one of their baked ones. This is Dolce Pink, and it is a shimmering pink. This is quite beautiful. Um, I think I would rank this higher again, except I don't think I reach for pink blush as much as other colors. And this has some shimmer in it, although I will say it's not overload of shimmer. You know, it's just, it's pretty subtle, I will say, but you know, it could get too much on the face, but it's not really glittery. I actually do like this one quite a bit, but I do feel like I need to pair this one with pink and purpley eye looks. Um, otherwise it could clash, but this baked formula is fantastic. Luminoso is a super popular one, and I did have that color a long time ago. I got rid of it at some point, but I actually do really like that one. It's a beautiful kind of shimmery peach type color, but yeah, this is really nice. I love the Milani formula, and I have another Milani blush you will see later on. Alrighty, we are in the top 10, and number 10 is this Wet n Wild blush in pearlescent pink. I have obviously used this a lot. This is in a project pan. I'm trying to finish this up, and this is a really beautiful color. This is, it's called pink, but it's not that pink. It's a lot more peach to me, and it has some shimmers in it, but on the face, you really cannot see those. Here is the swatch right there. It's a really gorgeous peachy color. This is a good everyday blush for me, and this is how I use it. I pretty much use this every day during the work week, which is, you know, when I'm working on it for my project. And it's a really nice formula. These are only three or four dollars, and it's a great formula, very smooth, very pigmented, lasts all day. It's great. On to number nine, and that is this Ofer blush in Mai Tai. And I think at one point I would have ranked this even higher, but this is a pretty distinct color. It is very like orangey sherbet. There it is right there. So I kind of have to be in the mood for it, but I do love warm orangey blushes a lot. And again, you know, this formula, smooth pigmented, it's fantastic. I will say all these formulas are really good. Um, like I said, I did recently declutter my blush and I am definitely left with products I really love. It's more like the color, I think, that is affecting my ranking than the formulas. But yeah, the Ofra blush formula, beautiful. You know, this is a pretty specific color. I would say it's definitely unique to my collection, but I do love it. All right, on to this little bad boy right here. This is a super affordable, cheap blush. This is by Essence. I think this is only $3. This is the Satin Touch blush in Satin Love. And the packaging broke. A lot of people's have broken, I've noticed, but you know, it's only $3. So what are you gonna do? This is like a pinky mauve neutral, but it's not as cool toned on the face as some other colors like this. This is kind of the perfect everyday blush. I feel like I could use this with any eye look, any makeup look. It's not too cool, it's not too warm, it's kind of the perfect neutral shade. I've even used this as an eyeshadow and it's beautiful. This is a gorgeous formula, not much more to say about it. Um, I do wish the packaging was a bit sturdier, but that's okay. I do actually really like that it's compact. I do not like bulky packaging. This is a good one. Okay, we are on number seven, and that is this ColourPop Powder Blush. This is a collab with Kathleen Lights in I Need Space. And this is another nude type color. This is definitely leans a bit more mauve. Hard to say. It's definitely darker than the Essence one. Where is it? <laughs> There it is right there. Um, they're kind of similar actually. This is a bit darker though. I do like it. This formula again, super pigmented, easy to blend, very lovely. This has a bit of a satinness to it as well, which I think 
does make it easier to blend on the face. And yeah, I really do like these ColourPop blushes. This is the only one that I have. I you know would want to try more, but obviously I have plenty of blush. We are on number six, and that is this Too Faced blush in Baby Love. This at some point was my favorite blush, and I do still really enjoy it. This one is very, very pigmented. I have obviously hit pan on it, and that took a lot of work to hit pan on this because I will say this is one of the most pigmented in my collection. There it is right there. The swatch again isn't really telling a whole lot. You know, it's again pretty neutral, some mauve in it. Um, but this one is very, very pigmented, so you do have to go in with a light hand. Although I like an intense blush look, so I am okay with that. I gotta say, I also love this packaging because this reminds me of my childhood and Polly Pocket, which was one of my favorite toys ever. So, you know, there is some nostalgia there with that. This is gorgeous. I don't know why they don't sell these anymore at Sephora and Ulta. You can buy them on the Too Faced site, but yeah, for some reason they're not sold in those stores anymore, which is a shame because these are really nice. And yeah, the packaging, it's adorable, but the product is good too. Okay, we are on number five, and I kind of can't believe I'm ranking this this high. This is a newer blush in my collection. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Vintage Rouge, and this smells really, really good. Um, it smells like the butter bronzer. This is, again, a very neutral color. It has some pink in it, but again, it's very neutral. There it is right there. This is a more subtle one compared to some of the others, and... I like an intense blush look, but I will say I do think I sometimes go overboard with my blush. And this is a color you can't really go overboard on. It just looks very natural and beautiful. You could pair it with any makeup look. This butter, butter, butter blush, whatever formula is so smooth and easy to blend. I think it is a beautiful formula. This one again is a bit more of a satinness to it. I mean, there's no shimmer or anything, but you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bit of a sheen to it. And that just looks really nice on the face and I think it helps it look more natural. This is absolutely fantastic. These were on sale at Ulta for about $8. I mean, I think Physician's Formula is a bit more expensive than some other drugstore brands out there, but I do love that blush and it is great. Okay, we are on number four and that is this Milani blush in Tea Rose. And this is a very different formula. So their baked ones are a bit shimmery, whereas these are very satin. There's no shimmer at all, really not much sheen. I mean, I would say, yeah, this is actually more of a totally matte blush. And Tea Rose is, again, a pinky nude. Clearly, I like those in peachy colors. Those are definitely my favorites. This formula is very smooth, very pigmented. There it is right there. This is a bit more pink than some of the other nudes, but it's not like a hot pink, like that Mac Mariah Carey one that is like bam in your face, which I do love that as well, um, but just not as much for like an everyday type look. I really do think this is fantastic. Milani, I will say, is one of the best drugstore brands. Their products are high-end quality. I did do a recent video talking about drugstore products that are better than high-end, and a lot of Milani products fall into that category, including this one right here. Okay, we are in the top three, and I kind of can't believe that this is so high on my list. This is the Kylie blush in We're Going Shopping. This formula is so smooth, so pigmented, it's not overboard pigmented though. This is the blush I'm wearing today. This is kind of like my perfect everyday peach color. It is so gorgeous. I mean, yeah, I'm shocked. I did not try this brand for a long time just because I wasn't intrigued by it and I heard mixed reviews, but these blushes are fantastic. I got this at Ulta on Black Friday last year and it's great. It's a really, really good color and I really enjoy the formula as well. I do think peach is kind of like the ultimate everyday shade for me, a little bit more than the pinky nudes, but yeah, I really like this one. Okay, number two, e.l.f. This is such a fantastic blush. This is called Always Cheeky. This is, I think, their primer infused blush line, and this is just amazing. It is so smooth, pigmented, this is another peach, you know, again, how many peach blushes do I actually need? But this one is fantastic. This is not as like orangey as some other peach blushes. There is a bit of like a, 
neutrality to it, I guess, if you will, but smooth, pigmented. This is one where you can go overboard because it is definitely quite pigmented, but it's not too crazy pigmented. But yeah, I really enjoy this. This is only $6 and I also think the packaging is very nice for drugstore, smooth and sleek and yeah. And I recently did get a blush in this line. I have not used it yet, but I've heard really good things about that too. Okay, it is time for my number one blush. Cannot believe this, Wander Beauty. This I got in BoxyCharm a couple months ago. So this is a duo with a blush and I guess a bronzer, but I pretty much never use this color. The blush is called Bellini and I don't know what it is about this formula, but it is so smooth and flattering on the face. There is a bit of a sheen that you can kind of see in there. And again, I think these blushes that have just that bit of a sheen somehow are extremely flattering. And this color as well, you know, this is another pinky peach color, but there's something about it. There it is right there. It's not too pink and it's not too peach. This goes, I think, with any makeup look. And I will say in the pan, it looks more pink than it looks on my face. I will say that is something about blush that I've noticed that it does look different on everybody because you're not putting on as thick of a layer as you are, for example, eyeshadow. Therefore, your natural skin tone, I think, does play a big part in how a blush looks on your face. I've had a lot of blushes where I've seen on people like in YouTube videos and then when I buy it, it looks completely different on me. And because I have yellow undertones, I do think a lot of blushes will pull more yellowy, peachy orange on me. Um, and then sometimes I think like the really, really hot pink ones can sometimes clash with that. So I do think that your undertones play a big part in how a blush will look. And yeah, this one though is just really nice. It's kind of like my perfect everyday color, but there is something so smooth and high quality about this formula that I do truly love it more than any other blush in my collection. Alrighty, that is it for this video. I've ranked my blush. I do love blush. It is definitely one of my favorite makeup products. And obviously I have some repeat shades in here. A lot of these neutral type colors, I definitely need to wear this one more. It is so fantastic. Um, but yeah, I think I'm definitely a little intimidated by that color. So yeah, let us know what is your favorite blush color and formula. I do think that the formula is pretty important on a blush. Back in the day where um, I feel like drugstore products were not as good. I remember having like a L'Oreal blush and it would fade off my face within an hour. And none of these do that. These do stay in place, which I really like. I don't like my blush fading. So yeah, that is it. Let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.